Have you ever wanted to visit Hobbiton? Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're talking about New Zealand, a country filled with stunning landscapes, rich history, and quirky facts. Join us as we uncover the magic of Aotearoa, from its Maori heritage to modern day marvels. New Zealand's history can be traced back to the prehistoric era, when the first Polynesian settlers arrived on these islands between 1200 and 1300 AD. These early inhabitants, known as the Maori, were seafaring people who brought with them a rich cultural heritage that would form the foundation of a distinct society. Over the centuries, the Maori developed their unique traditions, customs, and way of life inextricably tied to the land they had claimed as their own. The first documented European contact with New Zealand came in 1642, when Dutch explorer Abel Tasman sighted the islands during his voyage across the Pacific. However, it was in the late 18th century, during the voyages of Captain James Cook between 1769 and 1779, that New Zealand was mapped in detail sparking greater interest from the European powers. Cook's expeditions paved the way for further exploration and eventual settlement of these lands. As the 18th century progressed to the 19th, New Zealand's shores began to see an influx of European and American whalers, sealers, and traders, all seeking to capitalize on the natural resources of these islands. This initial contact between the Maori and the newcomers brought both opportunities and challenges as new goods, diseases, and firearms were introduced, impacting the existing Maori society. The treaty signed in 1840 between the British Crown and various Maori chiefs, known as the Treaty of Waitangi, was an important moment in New Zealand's history. This made New Zealand officially a British colony. The 1840s and 1850s saw the establishment of the early colonial government. However, the British had ongoing tensions with the Maori this period. These frictions ultimately erupted into a series of conflicts collectively known as the New Zealand Wars, which raged occasionally from 1845 to 1872. At the heart of these battles were disputes over land ownership, and resistance to colonial rule by various Maori IWE or tribes. Despite these conflicts, many Europeans moved to New Zealand in the late 1800s. This increased immigration helped grow the economy, especially through sheep farming. This economic growth helped New Zealand become a prosperous British dominion. In 1856, New Zealand was allowed to govern itself more, moving away from direct British rule. This was an important step towards independence. In 1907, New Zealand became a dominion within the British Empire, giving it more sovereignty and a stronger national identity. Throughout this period, the development of a distinct New Zealand identity became increasingly pronounced. The experiences of colonization, conflict, and nation-building had forged a unique culture made from the parts of Maori heritage and European influences. This blending of traditions would continue to shape the national character as New Zealand solidified its position as a modern, self-governing nation. The 20th century ushered in a period of change and upheaval for New Zealand, as the young nation found itself on the global stage through its participation in both World War I and World War II. These conflicts not only tested the resolve of New Zealanders, but also catalyzed significant social and economic transformations in their aftermath. The latter half of the 20th century also witnessed a remarkable renaissance of Maori culture, language, and rights. This resurgence, which continues to this day, has seen the revitalization of indigenous traditions and a renewed emphasis on addressing historic grievances through the Waitangi Tribunal. The reclamation of Maori identity and the recognition of past injustices have played a vital role in shaping New Zealand's modern, inclusive national identity. As the 20th century gave way to the 21st, New Zealand has embraced a path of economic diversification and global integration.
Once heavily reliant on primary industries such as agriculture and mining, the country's economy has evolved to encompass a broader range of sectors, including technology, manufacturing, and services. This transition has positioned New Zealand as a more dynamic and internationally connected player in the global marketplace. New Zealand's flag has its roots in the country's colonial past as part of the British Empire. The Union Jack, the national flag of the United Kingdom, is prominent in the top left corner, representing New Zealand's historical ties to Britain. This was a common feature on the flags of many former British territories. The striking centerpiece of the New Zealand flag is the red stars depicting the Southern Cross, a famous constellation visible only in the Southern Hemisphere. This celestial symbol was chosen because of its powerful connection to New Zealand's geographic location in the South Pacific. For centuries, the Southern Cross guided explorers, sailors, and settlers navigating the seas around New Zealand. Its inclusion honors the nation's seafaring heritage and serves as a point of navigation for all New Zealanders. The bright red stars and bold red outer bands stand out vividly against the dark blue background, echoing the colors found in the Union Jack. Red and blue are also the official national colors of New Zealand, with red signifying the nation's struggle for independence and blue representing the wide open skies and seas that have shaped its island identity. New Zealand is an island nation located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. Its total land area spans almost 270,000 square kilometers, or around 104,000 square miles, encompassing over 700 islands, with the two main land masses being the North and South Islands. Wellington serves as the capital city of New Zealand, an island nation with no land borders. Its closest neighboring countries are Australia to the west and various Pacific Island nations to the north and northeast. New Zealand experiences a temperate maritime climate, with temperatures varying across the seasons. During the summer months of December to February, average temperatures range from a comfortable 20 to 35 degrees Celsius or 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, the winter period from June to August brings cooler conditions, with average temperatures typically between 12 to 16 degrees Celsius or 53 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. This moderate climate is influenced by New Zealand's island geography and proximity to the surrounding oceans. New Zealand has a population of approximately 5.2 million as of 2024 estimates. The country is ethnically diverse, with Europeans making up 64.1% of the population, followed by the indigenous Maori at 16.5%. Other significant ethnic groups include Chinese, Indian, Samoan, Tongan, and Cook Islands Maori. Around 1% identify simply as New Zealanders. In terms of languages, English is the de facto official language spoken by 95.4% of the population. However, Maori and New Zealand Sign Language also have de jure official status, spoken by 4% and 0.5% respectively. Other notable languages include Samoan, Northern Chinese, and Hindi. New Zealand is largely a Christian nation, with 37.3% identifying with various denominations like Catholicism, Anglicanism, Presbyterianism, and Pentecostalism. However, a significant 48.6% of the population claims no religious affiliation. Other faiths present include Hinduism at 2.7%, Maori traditional religion at 1.3%, Islam at 1.3%, and Buddhism at 1.1%. New Zealand has produced an impressive number of globally renowned talents across film, music, comedy, and entertainment. Today, we're shining the spotlight on a few brilliant Kiwis who have achieved massive worldwide success and brought New Zealand's unique culture and creativity to the world stage. Peter Jackson Peter Jackson is one of the most influential filmmakers of our time. 
Known for adapting Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings into an epic movie trilogy, pioneering groundbreaking visual effects. Lord. At just 16 years old, Lord, aka Ella Yelich O'Connor, exploded onto the music scene in 2013 with her debut album Pure Heroine and breakthrough single Royals. Lord has since released acclaimed albums like Melodrama, won two Grammy Awards, and achieved massive chart success. Taika Waititi. This Oscar-winning writer, director, actor, and comedian has won fans worldwide with his cult hit, What We Do in the Shadows. He then joined the Marvel franchise by directing Thor Ragnarok. Recent acclaimed projects include the poignant Jojo Rabbit and the series Reservation Dogs. Rose born in New Zealand but raised in Australia, Rose has emerged as a fan favorite of THD with her soaring vocals while co-writing many of the group's songs. She has also launched a blossoming solo career with singles like On the Ground and Gone, allowing her incredible vocal talents to truly shine. If you enjoyed this video on New Zealand, you'll love this next one.